This is one of the more interesting timelines for sure. Germany won World War II, then America invaded Germany and took over Germany, and now we're invading Germany and we took over Germany. But now we're at war with the Allies, and the Soviets aren't well known for their navy, but we invested a lot into dockyards. We have 83 dockyards now, and we made a decent navy. It's it's pretty nice. It's just repairing, I guess. Oh, the our enemies have laid 1,012 mines. Uh, that's why we keep getting our ships damaged. Hmm. And we're invading Norway. Norway has been invaded as many times as Germany at this point. They were invaded by Germany, then they were invaded by the Allies, now they're getting invaded by the Soviets. Ah, oh, the US is actually garrisoning their Allies' ports. Impressive! Nice one there, USA. I didn't expect it. We should land though, I guess we can get some air up there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I guess they were only garrisoning the one port, so <laughs> I guess not that impressive. The AI can only do so much. I wonder it looks like we've engaged some detachment of the US Navy. Hmm. Their admiral is a lot better than us here. Um, other than that, I think it's mostly fair. This should be fine. Yeah, this is just some like small, pretty terrible part of their Navy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's what I call the sweet taste of victory right there. Ah, I feel like this is going to continue a lot further. We're gonna have some good times here. And we did that without a single naval bomber too. We're just gonna keep convoy raiding, try to lure their Navy out. 12 more British destroyers, yeah. And we have 11 more destroyer threes to add to our navy. So we pretty much just harvested the souls from those British destroyers and <laughs> re repurposed them, yeah. At least that's what I'd like to think, you know. It adds to the lore a lot. Yeah. And we're doing a lot of damage to the UK's navy, to their shipping, like, we've sunk so many convoys from them and their allies, obviously trying to garrison the UK. The threat of naval invasion is pretty imminent right now, so, and I think it's about time that we test our luck here. Ironically, we probably have a higher chance of taking the UK than successfully taking some of these chunks of divisions in Europe, even though these guys are attritioning 30-40%, like, I just can't push them. Well, I guess now I can push them. Yeah, 30-40% attrition's a lot, but yeah. For the most part, these guys are so well entrenched, or maybe not. Of course, I try pushing these guys for hours, and then the second I start talking about how I can't push them, then I can finally push them. <laughs> United Kingdom has capitulated. However, defeating them at sea was much more of a toll on their morale than defeating them on their mainland, obviously. They pretty much lost everything they had right there. Now we'll just have to do the real invasion, the invasion of North America. Yeah, this is gonna be a little difficult now. Nice, and the Red Army has marched further than any sane Russian has ever thought possible and brought Britain itself under our boot. Yeah, yeah, quite the achievement, I guess. State of emergency, yes. Yeah, that's a fair assessment of things, Britain. Oh, well, I didn't think the US would decide to go this far. Yes, they've already given up on their ally there. Um, yeah, I'll send some planes over to defend London. That's, that's a new low. Uh, and Canada has a decent army still. They haven't really thrown it all away like the UK and US did. They were, they had a decent garrison of St. John's, but they decided not to garrison Halifax, which is convenient for us. I guess if we can walk in there, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. And then we can move our navy down there, and then we'll be able to invade the east coast. I have 48 divisions over here in England, well, 32 there and 16 coming there, that will be soon moved over to Canada for a new invasion on a new front. Oh, and they got a division in there on time. That's, that's really unfortunate for us. Uh, try building a port, but I don't have much hope. Well, we're having to do the same thing here too. It's almost done though. It'll be done in like 10 days. Our construction speed is kind of insane right now. <laughs> and the Canadian Navy has been sunk. We didn't lose a single ship in the process. That's, that's nice. And it looks like they're retreating from St. John's Island. No point in trying to hold it if they just get convoy raided every time they try to send something there. And now we've finally taken Halifax, so I guess, oh, some of the American Navy now, ah. We should be able to beat it with our four battleships. Or oh, well, our entire Navy looks like it got in that battle, yeah. Oh, the Americans got out, oh well. Anyways, it's time for our great invasion of the East Coast. There's not much the US can do, I would suspect, now that their Navy's been defeated. <laughs>
Perfect, there we go. Thanks for watching my successful red alert campaign, minus the time travel part. Well, kinda wish there was time travel in this game, that'd make this one a lot more interesting too. Well, I guess that's probably debatable, but yeah. And we've done it, boys. Capitalism is no more. The fall of capitalism. Red Army has marched further than any sane Russian has ever thought possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know. We are victorious, yeah. United Socialist States of America. There we are, led by Bayard Rustin. I was kind of hoping we would get 25-year-old Bernie or something, but I guess this is, this is acceptable for our American puppet state. I'll just gladly take what we can get. I guess the regular US still exists, led by by Palmer. Yeah, I think New Zealand was the only country that got out unharmed. The last capitalist in the world, Sydney Holland. He'll never be able to do any harm, obviously. Also, don't worry about Europe, I'll fix it. I don't know, Italy lost all of its cores, and Spain doesn't exist anymore, there's, there's no cores. Anyways, it's time to go after the one major country in Europe that stayed out of the conflict. They were smart and just did nothing. I guess the smartest thing to do would have been to become socialists and join us, but I, I guess Yes, this is a close second, it makes it easy at least. Quick and painless. Wait, Spain capitulated? Italy Kapitch- wait, what? And they're a nice red France to join the ranks of the Sosin turn. Ah, beautiful. And we were having a difficult time breaking Switzerland, but I put 2,000 casts in the air and that seems to have done the trick. Yeah, there, there they go. And in Turkey, they're pretty invincible on this border, but on all these other borders, yeah, they're kind of breaking. I think I'm just gonna attack them here to pin these divisions. Yeah. And we've had great success everywhere. We've given some land to our allies. Greece and Yugoslavia are are our only two real allies that aren't just puppet states. And Venezuela? Yeah, Venezuela. Oh yeah, and the West African Federation's free too. Yugoslavia has Istanbul as they should. <laughs> Tito's gonna make like a palace in the city or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. And by palace, I mean a palace for him to collectively share with the workers, of course, of course. For some reason, Yugoslavia also has Northern Ireland. I know our puppet state had no Northern Ireland, I think. I guess maybe they just had it until the peace deal and then Yugoslavia took it. I don't know, that's kind of weird. And with the world revolution now successful, a sort of council has met. Pokrashev, general secretary of the USSR, Rustin, president of the USSA, Tito, president of Yugoslavia, Prolet, premier of the Socialist Republics of Britain, and Ivanov, leader of Germany, have all met today to discuss the future of the South Center. The socialist puppet states now demand independence, calling rule from Moscow tyranny. While Pokrashev is wary, he has agreed to set in motion a plan to free all Soviet republics. Suslov and the NKVD immediately protested this announcement. He claims that the Americans and British cannot be trusted even after they are effectively transformed into worker states. Nah, I, I, we, we should just give them their freedom. I don't know. I don't know what the NKVD really is doing. They've been independent for a decade now about, I think. Yeah, something like that. Probably even more. I guess this is just kind of a weird situation where they're independent yet weaker than us and ineffective. Not really necessary, just a remnant of the past. Not even really communist, I would say. They're technically socialist, but it's pretty much just a dictatorship under this guy. I don't know. Hey, we, we've conquered the world, though. I'm sure this is definitely the end. Nothing else is gonna happen from this point, for sure. For sure, yeah, yeah.